good morning students in today's class we will discuss problem number 4 i'll read out the question a three phase generator with an open circuit voltage of 400 volt is subjected to an lg fault single line to ground fault through a fault impedance of j 2 ohm so z f is j 2 determine the fault current if z 1 is j 4 Z two is J two, Z naught is J one. Repeat the problem for LL fault and LLG fault, double line fault and double line to ground fault. Okay. So in this problem, they had given the open circuit voltage as well as fault impedance ZF, and they have asked to calculate only the fault current. Okay. So first, let us take LG fault. Let us consider LG fault. So, if you look on to first three problems, whatever we have solved in the earlier classes, that they have asked to calculate the subtransient currents as plus line to line voltages. So, we calculated all the parameters as per the derivation. But here in this problem, the calculation is only for the fault current. So, pick the formula which is used for calculating only the fault current. Okay. So, starting with LG fault. Through fault impedance is at F. Okay, so we have the positive sequence network, negative sequence network, and zero sequence network, all three connected in series through three into is at F. Through three into is at F. Okay, and what is E A? E A is the E M of induced per phase. Okay, so given open circuit voltage, that means it is an unloaded generator. Okay, so given voltage is the line voltage. and we know ea is the em of induced per phase okay so for calculating the phase voltage we have to take 400 divided by root 3 which is 230.95 okay so we given 400 volt is the open circuit voltage of an unloaded generator but in the problem and in the combined network we have ea which is the em of induced per phase since it is an unloaded generator Em of induced per phase will be equal to the terminal voltage per phase. Okay, so we take Ea is equal to 400 by root 3, which is equal to 230.95. So now for LLG fault, we write the formula for current sequence components. Ia1 equals Ia2 equals Ia0. Which is E A divided by Z one plus Z two plus Z naught plus three Z F. Okay, so from the sequence diagram, substitute the value of E A, which is two thirty point nine five. Z one, Z two, Z naught, three into Z F. Z F is J two, so three into Z F is J six. When you calculate, you will get minus J seventeen point seven six five amperes. So for single line to ground fault, the fault current I F is I A, which is equal to three I A one. We get minus J fifty three point two nine amperes. So if you want only the magnitude of fault current, if it is fifty three point two nine amperes. Okay. So second part, we will go for the fault current calculation in the case of a double line fault, L L fault. Okay. So for an L L fault, we draw the combined sequence network. So for L L fault. We have already derived that I A naught and V A naught are zero. So zero sequence network is not included in the combined network. So we have V A one is equal to V A two. So we draw positive sequence network and negative sequence network in parallel through the impedance Z F, which is J two O. Okay. Then from the sequence network, we write the formula for I A one. I A one is equal to minus I A two is equal to E A divided by Z one plus Z two plus Z F. After that, we substitute for E A, which is two thirty point nine five Z one Z two Z F. When we calculate, we will get minus J twenty eight point eight seven amperes. Now the fault current I F is equal to minus J root three I A one. Substitute for I A one, you will get it as minus fifty amperes. So if you want only the magnitude of I F, leave this minus. Okay, we will get it as fifty ampere. Magnitude of I F is fifty amperes. 
third type of fault is llg fault double line to ground fault okay so in the case of a double line to ground fault we have all the three sequence networks connected in parallel we have va1 is equal to va2 so we have connected positive sequence network in parallel with negative sequence network but we have seen that v v a2 is equal to v a2 is equal to v a not minus 3 i a not z from the derivation okay so we connect this positive sequence network in parallel with negative uh, zero sequence network through an impedance 3 z f okay and from the combined network we write ia1 is equal to ea divided by z1 plus z2 into 3 z f plus z0 divided by z2 plus 3 z f plus z0 now substitute for ea as well as the impedances you will get as minus j 41.575 amperes okay now the fault current if is 3 into ia naught so we have to calculate ia naught using the formula ia naught is equal to minus ia1 z2 divided by z naught plus 3 zf plus z2 substitute for ia1 and the impedances you will get ia naught is j 9.24 amperes so now calculate the fault current as equal to 3 into IA naught which is J27.72 amperes. So IF is equal to 27.72. The magnitude alone is 27.72 amperes.